Today I'm going to show you how to order a set of decimals from smallest to biggest. First of all, write your decimals in your list into columns. So your first decimal is 0 0.2. So I've got 0 units and 2 tenths. You might want to add a 0 in the hundredths column as well. Your next decimal is 0 0.17. So we've got 0 units. 1 tenth 7 hundredths. The next decimal is 0 0.02 and the final one is 0.27. So once you've done that, if you get yourself a piece of card and we're going to move the card from left to right because the important columns are on the left hand side so we must check those first and the less important columns are to the right so let's look at our first column then. So we've got zeros in all the first columns, so we can't decide which one's the smallest here. So we need to move out to our tenths column. So as you see in the tenths column, we have a zero here. So this will mean that 0 0.02 is our smallest decimal. So we can cross this one off our list. So we just need to repeat this process now, so if you get your card back, again move it left to right, so in the units column, again they're all zeros, we can't decide which one's the smallest, so move to our tenths column. So in our tenths column you can see we've got a 1 here, this will mean that 0 0.17 will be our next biggest decimal. So finally, she's got two decimals left now. So again, start on the left hand side, so we can't decide in that column. Move to the tenths column. So again, we've got twos in both columns, so again, we can't decide which one is the smallest. So finally, move to the hundredths column, and you can see we've got a zero here and a seven here. So that means 0 0.20 is the smallest. Make sure you write down 0.2 though because we added the zero there just to help us. So obviously 0.27 is our largest decimal. So let's move on to example 2 then. So again let's just write our, our decimals in columns. So our first one is 1.7, so that's 1 unit 7 tenths. Our next one's 1.65, 1 unit 6 tenths 5 hundredths. Our next decimal is 1.74, and our final one is 0 0.99. Again, you might want to fill in a zero on the first one just to make things a little bit easier. So, again, if you get yourself card so you can cover up the decimals. So if you move it from left to right, so as you can see in our first column we have a zero here so this will mean 0.99 is our smallest decimal. So again cross this one out. So if you repeat the process again move it from left to right. So we've got ones in the first column so we can't decide which one is the smallest here. So move it to the tenths column. So in our tenths column we have a 6 here. So this will make 1.65 the next biggest decimal. So finally we've just got 2 left now. So we've got 1's in the first column. So move to the next column. We've got 7's in the next column. So again we have to go to the hundredths column to decide which one's the next smallest. So in the hundredths column we've got a zero here, so that will mean 1.7 is our next biggest decimal, and therefore 1.74 is the largest.